When it comes to trauma assessment, the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the head. And when you're training, I want you to get weird with it because if you won't touch a face during training, you're gonna be reluctant on scene and during your national registry assessments. So when I'm coming up to the head, I'm taking my hands and I'm getting in there and I'm looking for that DCAP BTLS. I'm getting in there and I am pushing and I am prodding and I am feeling. If there is a hole, if there is trauma, I want to find it. I want to know it's there so I can treat it and pass that on to the trauma center. So I'm coming down looking for that DCAP BTLS. When I get to the eyes, I'm gonna grab my pen light and I'm gonna look for pearl, pupils equal and round, reactive to light and looking to pearl. I'm then gonna come down and look in the nostrils. I'm looking for signs of trauma. I'm looking for bleeding or even CSF. When I get to the mouth, I'm looking inside and I am looking to make sure all the teeth are there. Is there any bleeding? Is there any obvious trauma? Is there anything that's gonna be affecting the airway? I'm also gonna be looking at the ears. Again, I'm gonna be looking for CSF, that cerebral spinal fluid. I'm gonna be looking for battle signs, the bruising behind the ears that points towards trauma. And as I'm coming down even further, I'm feeling for step off in the back. And when I come to the neck, I like to do it just like this. I think TD for tracheal deviation. And just like in football, TD, TD, I'm coming to the sides looking for those distended neck veins. So tracheal deviation, touchdown, distended neck veins. And this completes your trauma assessment until you get to the chest.